a good morning students. Our topic for today is about bleeding time using the Dukes method. So let's prepare the materials that we will be needing. Your serial blood lancet, your blood lancet device, your stopwatch, sterile filter paper, gauze pads or cotton balls, and 70% alcohol or povidone iodine. So let's prepare first our lancet with our automatic lancet device. Put it in two or four dials. After doing so, moisten a piece of cotton with 70% alcohol or povidone iodine and thoroughly cleanse the bowl of the patient's middle or ring finger. Allow the skin to air dry and make a puncture wound of 2 to 4 mm deep in the earlobe or finger with a disposable blood lancet. The deep of the cut depends on the size of the patient. Start the stopwatch immediately. Being careful not to touch the puncture site, blot the filter paper every 30 seconds until the bleeding stops. <clears throat> if the blood flow is more than 15 minutes, Discontinue the test and report test as greater than 15 minutes. The normal range for our bleeding time using the Dukes method is around 1 to, 30, 1 to 3 minutes. Also, take note that don't force the fingers to bleed itself. Once done, record the bleeding time and stop the stopwatch immediately. So label the filter paper with the patient's identification, the date the test conducted, and the test result. So for this activity, the result is 1 minute 33 seconds or 1 minute and 30 seconds. So that's all for today and goodbye.